Hello everyone, welcome back to Pabli. So in today's video, we will understand how to set up webhook inside Razorpay. So webhook acts as a bridge to connect applications and it helps to deliver the data to other applications as an event happens. So in this video, I'm going to tell you step by step that how you can set up webhook inside Razorpay and capture the payments. So this will help you to deliver the data to other applications whenever an event will take place. So here in Paply Connect, I will go to my trigger window and over here, I'm going to search for Razor Pay as my trigger application and here it is. So I'm going to select it and the trigger event will be payment captured. So this trigger will change whenever the status of the payment will be changed to captured. So in this video, I'm going to tell you that how you can set up a webhook inside Razor Pay and capture the payment details here in Paply Connect. So here you can see that a webhook URL is given and along with that a help desk is given. So read this help desk given below carefully because this webhook URL will act as a bridge to connect your Razorpay account with Pabli Connect. So now to build a connection, I'm going to take you to my Razorpay account. So this here is my Razorpay account and I'm in test mode. So on my left hand side, I will go to this developers option and over here in developers, I will go to webhooks. So in order to set up a webhook, here in webhooks, I will go to this add new webhook button. These are my existing webhooks, so I am going to add a new webhook to show you that how a connection is built. So here in webhook setup, I need to mention the webhook URL. So from Pabli Connect, you can see that I've got a webhook URL. I'm going to copy it and over here in this field, I'm going to paste it. Once that is done, moving to secret and the alert email. So these fields are not the mandatory fields. So as of now, I'm going to leave them blank. Now moving to the action events. So here I need to select the action event for which I want to send the data from Razorpay to Pabli Connect. So over here, I'm going to select it as payment captured. So here my objective is that whenever a new payment will be captured in my Razorpay account, then automatically the details of that payment should be captured in Pabli Connect. That means it should be sent to Pabli Connect. So in order to do that over here, I've mentioned the webhook URL, selected the active events, and now I'm going to click on create webhook. So here you can see it says webhook saved successfully. So here you can see that a new webhook is just now created. Here you can see the date and time as well. So our webhook is successfully created. That means the setup is successfully done. So now here in Pabli Connect, you can see that it is waiting for webhook response. That means now I need to do a test submission or record so that the details of the payment could be captured over here in Pabli Connect. So in order to do that, I will go to my Razorpay account once again. So here in Razorpay, I will go to the payment pages and now I'm going to do a test payment. So here, let's say that I'm going to purchase this book that is automation and AI ebook. So I'm going to copy the URL and in a new tab, I'm going to open it. So this here is the payment page and as I'm in test mode, so it says only test payments can be made for this payment page. So I'm going to make a test payment and I'm going to fill in the payment details. Now I'm going to fill in the details. Let's say the first name is dummy, last name is user. Here will be the email address as dummyuser at the rate pavlitudes.com. This here is a dummy phone number. Now I'm going to select the product that is automation and AI ebook and here is the amount of the product. So here I fill in the details and now I'm going to do a test payment of triple nine rupees. So I'm going to click on pay. And I'm going to do a test payment by a dummy card. So here I'm going to mention the dummy card number. That is this number. Now moving to the expiry, that is this. And here is the cardholder name as dummy user. And now I'm going to mention a dummy CVV. And now I'm going to click on pay now. So here I'm going to pay without saving card and I'm going to mention a dummy OTP and now I'm going to click on submit. So here it says payment successful. So as you can see that the payment is successfully made for this product of triple nine. So as I was in test mode, so the test payment is successfully made. It says payment successful and the payment details would have been captured in Public Connect. So now I'm going to take you to Public Connect. And yes, over here, you can see that I have received the response. So over here, you can see the status that is captured. Here you can see the order ID and here is the details like phone number, last name, first name, email. And this here is the product name that was automation and AI ebook. So over here, you can see the payment method as well. That was by card. And here you can see the details of the card as well that the card was a debit card. Here you can see the card network. And over here, you can see the price of the product. And here is the event that is of payment captured. 
So that means here in Pabli connect the details of the payment which was just made in Razorpay successfully captured. So here if you would have noticed the payment which I have made that was of 999 rupees. But here in Pabli connect you can see that the price is bit different from the payment that was made in Razorpay. So here in Pabli connect while the data was sent so the decimals were removed. So the decimal is removed that is why the zero is attached along with this amount. So now in order to rectify it we are going to use number formatted by Pabli. So number formatted by Pabli will help us to rectify this and get the exact amount of the payment that was made. So the first objective of this automation is set up that means now whenever a new payment will be captured in Razorpay then automatically the payment details will get captured over here in Pabli Connect. So this trigger will instantly capture the new incoming data and the workflow execution will start in real time. That means the webhook which we have just set up right now in Razorpay is running successfully. That is why we have got the details of the payment over here in Pabli Connect. So now moving ahead as I want to rectify the amount that was of 999 but over here it is shown different because the decimal is removed. So here in this action window I am going to search for number formatted by Pabli. And now I am going to perform a math operation. And now I'm going to click on connect. So now over here in numbers, I'm going to mention the product price. So in order to mention it, I'm going to use a method that is called as mapping. So basically mapping means to insert the data from previous step. So as I've received the response from Razorpay, so over here in this field, I'm going to map it. So over here is the payload payment entity amount. So I'm going to map it. So over here, I've mapped the product price and now I'm going to perform a math operation that will be of divide. So I'm going to divide it by 100 so that the zeros can be removed. So now in the operation option, I'm going to select it as divide. So over here I've mentioned the product price that is of 999 but over here as two zeros are also added along with it. So that is why I'm going to perform a math operation of divide. I'm going to divide this amount by 100 so that I can get the amount of the product. So here I'm going to click on save and send test request. And here you can see that I have received the response and over here in the result you can see that I have received the amount of the product that was of 999. So here you can see that the payment was also made for 999 rupees and now in Pabli Connect I've got the result as well. So as over here I have got the product price as well and from the response received from Razorpay I've got the payment details. So now my objective is to add these payment details in a Google Sheet. So over here I'm going to click on this add action step and I'm going to use Google Sheets as my action application. So here I'm going to search for Google Sheets. My objective is to add the payment details in my Google Sheet. So in order to do that I'm going to select the action event as add new row and now I'm going to establish a connection between Google Sheets and Pabli Connect. So here to add a new connection you just have to sign in with your Google account. So here I'm going to click on allow as this is a secure access. And the authorization was successful. So here you can see that Google Sheets and Pabli Connect is connected. So this here is the Google Sheet which I have created where I want to add the Razorpay payment details. So it consists of one sheet and of these columns. And the name of this Google Sheet is Razorpay payment details. So here in Pabli Connect from this drop down I am going to select my Google Sheet. And it has automatically detected the sheet that is sheet 1. So now I'm going to map the details in these fields. So basically mapping is an important step so that every time you're going to receive a new response so that response could be taken into consideration in these fields. If I would have written this information manually in that case this information could have become static which means that it wouldn't change even if I would have received a new response. So in order to avoid that problem we map the information. So now moving to order ID again from the response received I'm going to map the order ID and here it is. And now moving to the payment method. So here the payment method was of card and I'm going to map it. So as you can see that I have mapped the details in these fields. That means now whenever a new payment will be captured through Razorpay then automatically those payment details will be added in my Google Sheets in a new row by replacing these details. And the workflow will run smoothly in real time. So now I'm going to click on save and send test request. And here you can see that I have received the response and this here is a positive response. So now I'm going to take you to my Google Sheet. So here in this Google Sheet you can see that in a new row the payment details is successfully added. That means now whenever a new payment will be captured through Razorpay then automatically the payment details will be added in my Google Sheets in a new row. 
So the connection was a successful one. That means the webhook which we have set up inside Razorpay to capture the payments is successfully set up and working completely fine. That's why we have got the details of the payment here in Pabli Connect. Now that means whenever a new payment will be captured through Razorpay, then automatically the payment details will be added in my Google Sheets in a new row. So the webhook set up inside Razorpay was a successful one. If you like this video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Not just these applications, you can integrate a lot more applications with the help of Pabli Connect. So if you have any doubts regarding Pabli, reach us at support at and if you have any queries, you can visit us at forum.pabli.com. If you have any pricing related query, you can visit this link. So if you like this video, please share it with your friends and colleagues and do not forget to like, share and subscribe our channel.